been described as the Jetsons house with its space age architecture and design. Now a home in northern New South Wales is set for a very futuristic type of sale too. Joining us on the phone is the home's owner and designer, Greg Costello, telling us why he's accepting Bitcoin in exchange for the house. Greg, thank you very much for being on the line there with us. Um, we're having a look now at this uh, incredible house of yours. Can you help talk us through it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank, you. thank you for having us, Chris. Um, yeah, look, the house was uh, inspired from the Jetsons and trying to get that futuristic look and creating a futuristic payment system for property sales. Yeah, absolutely. We're keen to get into the property sales stuff, um, but while we look through it, Greg, we, we notice a few incredible features as well as soccer pitch, in-ground trampoline. I mean, what were you kind of going for here when you, when you designed this house? Funny enough, it's actually livability and... Um, out of all the houses I've been in and lived in, this is by far the most livable house. And it's because of the, the 28 metres of northerly glass that opens up onto the, the pool area and uh, having uh, the soccer pitch and the in-ground in trampoline, everything at one level makes it very livable and easy to, to get around. Yeah, it, it, just looking at it from the street, it's, it's almost unnerving the way that it kind of uh, hangs off an edge like that and there's almost feels like there's nothing supporting it. Um, yeah, so pretty incredible stuff there, Greg. Um, now, when it comes to the sale, this is, this is a bit of a sale unlike anything that we've seen before. Can you tell us why, why Bitcoin? Yeah, look, we're, we're, I'm accepting uh, Bitcoin and Binance coin. Uh, and the, and the, the reason why is that it opens up to international buyers that sometimes would have a lot of difficulty transferring currency from other countries to to Australian dollars if you had to purchase a property. And here we've got a currency that can be transferred in the manner of seconds, minutes, mm. and uh, the, the sale's done. And well, this is going to be a, a world first, and hopefully, and I'm sure we'll see it be adopted by many other people to come. So, appealing to the international buyers, you're still a couple of weeks out from the sale. How is the plan working? Have you had much interest from overseas? Yeah, we have actually. We've um, definitely a, a lot of media interest from um, China, Canada, USA, Europe, uh, um, Korea. But also, we've had um, we've already had people register for the auction, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything everything sells. I suppose the natural question here is, uh, appealing to international buyers, does that say anything about your expectations re the local market here and a potential weakness in your, I suppose, echelon of the market? Look, where we are, I think we're, we've been in a new, unique situation because of the supply and demand of the area that we live in uh, and people wanting to move to the area and it being also a holiday destination. At the moment, it's just ticking all the boxes and just adding the, um, the cryptocurrency side to it just opens up more doors for people to be able to, like myself, be able to sell, sell their property. Yeah, it's an, an incredible property there. Can you tell us um, what the, I mean, I, I would be asking you what the asking price is in Australian dollars, but I suppose also curious about the, the Bitcoin uh, conversion there, Greg. Yeah, so at the moment, we're, the range that we've got on it um, for auction is seven to 800 Bitcoin. Okay, so... Yeah, four, four million Australian dollars. Four million Australian. Okay, no worries. Now, when it comes to Bitcoin, are you worried at all about um, about that market? If you if you get the proceeds of your house in Bitcoin, uh, it's you know famously, a, I suppose, an interesting um, an interesting asset, and it's a long way off its off its highs. Are you worried at all about that? Yeah, look, and, and that's one reason why we chose Binance Coin as well. Like Binance mm -hmm. Coin's um, been able to be one of the coins. Um, within the industry that have bucked uh, the winter, the winter blues of um, the cryptocurrency industry, and that has shown gains, you know, through and through um, for, the, for the last six months. So that that was one reason bringing Binance into it, but also the Bitcoin, uh, I believe, is is in, is in a good position, um, consolidating and then to move forward is is, is a very safe bet. So you'll be you'll be hanging on to the Binance and Bitcoin proceeds. You won't be transferring that directly into a, another currency immediately. You think? So immediately we have to um, liquidate some to to release the mortgage, and that that will be done just uh, the minimum amount, and then the rest yeah definitely will be held tight for a few, for future gains. Greg, you mentioned before, of course, this is you're kind of a first mover here, and there's a lot of media attention 
um, around the world because of that. Do you worry at all about being a first mover and not having much in the way of previous case studies that you can you can base the experience and, and kind of gauge how things might go? Yeah, look, I think I'm probably lucky in the sense that we're, we're within the industry and I understand um, a, a lot of part about the industry and being that way, I feel a lot more comfortable with it to, to set to set the new standards and set the new ways of um, how to transact in this situation. Right, fair enough. What's uh, what's next? Where do you go from a Jetsons home, Greg? Um, I reckon <laughs> I reckon next one on a on a pole up in the sky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fair enough. Well, you got your work cut out for you. It would seem uh, on a pole sounds like quite a challenge. But uh, look, if anyone's up for it, it uh, it seems to be you, Greg Costello. Thank you very much for taking us through that home of yours and and the interesting sale process. Nah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for having us.